Good evening, everybody. Hello. We are here in Kaneohe we are. for a special anniversary dinner. Yes, it is our 10th anniversary. It is. Time flew. It Happy anniversary, babe. Yes, so, uh, yeah. I took you here to Hawaii for dinner. Yes. Uh, crazy, yeah, huh? Yeah, because it was just a short weekend. I mm. couldn't take you to Paris. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, so we are here at Haleiwa Joe's. Mm. Now, we went to the one in Haleiwa, which is in the North Shore. Yes, we did. We've never been to the one here at Kaneohe. Right, so this one has a beautiful garden through it, and so we're going to go wait in line. We're here a little bit early. Right, right. Hopefully, we'll get this first seating. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, yeah. they're already starting to queue up now, yeah. so let's jump in. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hello. Hi. Good, how are you? No, not this location, the other location. Hello. Hi. Hey, how you doing? On the drive here, the mountains were beautiful. They had that overhang of that cloud that just made it gorgeous. You can see the mountains on the right side and the ocean on the left side. And the ocean, the waves were coming over the wall, which is really cool. Lots of scenery. We hit a little bit of traffic, but I think from Hale Eva, uh, yeah, from Hale Eva, the town of Hale Eva to here in Kaneohe, about 45 minutes to an hour. Just a heads up. Um, we got here at around 3.30, it opens at 4, and we weren't the first in line on a weekday. So just a heads up, and but there's no reservations. We so. still got seated on the rail right here. Beautiful view. Cannot be beat. And it's a giant restaurant. Oh yeah. So here's the breakdown of the menu. The poopoos is the appetizers. Good selection. I think we're gonna go for the escargot right over here. And of course your favorite, the crispy Brussels sprouts. That's a must. Of course, you have a selection of salads. And we got your mains. We have your, uh, from the sea, the fish on top, from the land in the middle, and some sides on the bottom. And I know a lot of you have said, why don't you get the, uh, the prime rib the time we went to the North Shore location? I'm gonna get the prime rib this time. And I'm not sure what you're gonna get. Babe, not right? sure yet. Yeah. While we're waiting in line to come into the restaurant, Lisa stayed up there while I went down to the Haiku Garden. It's like a little walkway that has a beautiful little pond and a gazebo, little pier. And it, it's only open until sunset, so we have to take advantage of it. Uh, otherwise, after we eat, it's going to be closed and it's going to be too dark. And that's our backdrop right now. Yeah, it is the backdrop. The water is so still. Just so much trees and plants and oilage like, everywhere. We are starting off with some zero proof we drinks. Are, we, we, we get too tired now. Well, there's a long drive back to Waikiki. Yeah, there is. So this is the uh, a mango mojito. Uh-huh. The, the mango hito. The mango hito. No, what you no. Get? You got the guava oh, hito, guava. baby. Why am I thinking of mangoes? I know. You have the mango on the brain. I do. So I have the guava hito. I got the ling hing nui lemonade. Yeah. Well, why does mine look more girly than yours? I don't know. But well, let's try it out. Hokole maluna. Oh, it's very light and refreshing. It's almost like a, like fresh juices inside of like soda water and stuff. But it has enough sweetness in it though. This one, the lemonade is delicious. I believe it's a strawberry lemonade with lehing, mm -hmm. which is the little seasoning. You can see a little bit there. So it's oh, a yeah. little bit on that sweet side and it has a little bit of that kind of like the, the tart side and a little bit of the salty side. So it's a delicious drink. Mm. Yeah. I think we picked some good ones. We did. So after you place your order, they bring out some bread. I can feel it's nice and warm underneath here. Just go ahead and open this up. Oh yeah, that looks delicious. Nice and warm bread. It's, and they give you a guava butter. So let's yeah, go look ahead at that. and try out this guava butter. Let's get my knife going here. Never heard of guava butter. It's nice and soft, as you can see. They must have had it at the uh, North Shore location. I'm I don't thinking. remember the guava butter. Mm. I remember just a regular butter. Let's try this out. What comes through? The bread is nice and fresh. You can taste the butter on there. I can't taste the guava though, but bread and butter. Who doesn't like bread and butter? It's delicious. 
this is the black and blue all here. Now, it kind of threw me off because I thought it was going to be like some blue shoes or something. But it's because I think it's blackened and it's uh, bluefin tuna, huh, baby? Yeah, that's right. And so, with some uh, wasabi <laughs> dipping sauce, wasabi I Wasabi dipping sauce. So I'm going to go ahead, get that piece of just beautiful. That is a stunning piece of tuna right here. Go ahead and that dipping sauce. Mm. This is delicious. It is a very delicate piece of tuna. Great flavor to it. I like that little blackened sear on it. It is raw. It's very freshly done. This wasabi has a little bit of kick, but not too much kick. Where you can taste the wasabi and just a little tinge of heat to it. Hold on, you gotta try this out, baby. It is delicious. I like how thinly sliced it is. Look, look at that. It's translucent. Right, look at that. Let's give a little dip in this. I'm not the hugest uh, wasabi fan, but hey, I'll try it out. Mm -hmm. You're right. I love that top where it's charred, where it gives it the, the black effect of the blue. That is delicious. Look at that. It has a little bit of like some kind of a spice rub maybe on top of it. So it does have some flavors. And the wasabi does definitely have a wasabi flavor, but it doesn't hit you. It's not one of those nasal clearing experiences. So if you're not big into wasabi like I am, it's still good. And of course, there's some fresh cut cucumbers on the side. This is a great little appetizer. We picked a good one, babe. Yeah, we did. So on this trip, because we didn't go to Paris, we had to get the escargot. We brought Paris to us. We did. Look at that. It's still bubbling right here. So it is extremely hot. It's another piece of bread up here. Wow, look at this. It's very unique. I have never yeah. seen it served in this fashion. No, not at so all. So they definitely put their own twist on it. You can see the butter. You can see the cheese. You can see the garlic. Oh, yeah. And when it came out, it just smelled like some buttery garlic goodness. So I oh, can't yeah. wait to dig on in. But we're going to wait for this one to cool off. It's extremely hot. We're going to see what this looks like here. And that's the first time okay. ever. Chopsticks with so, escargot. Yeah. You know, I have chopsticks with everything. Okay, you can see here. That is just covered. Oh, and it's like individual. Oh, I see it. So it's like six little individual, and they right. cover it with cheese. We're kind of curious. Yeah, it's a very that. unique. Uh, it is. Uh, presentation. So we're gonna wait till this cools off a bit, and then we'll dig on in. There it is. I I dug it out from this little dish pocket right there. Let's try it out. Still a little hot. A little hot. A little hot. Three things that stand out, garlic, butter, parsley. That is the uh, the predominant flavors there. It has a good chew on the, uh, on the escargot, but you don't get really like like an earthy taste at all on the, on the escargot. It just, it just tastes really good. So if you're, if you're a fan of like the butter and garlic, yeah, this is really good. I'm not sure, I'm not sure how the cheese is going to play into this because I didn't get any cheese yet. But it is interesting though. Might have to try it out on my next bite. What is wrong with this picture? Is there anything with bread, garlic, butter, and cheese? There is nothing wrong with that picture at all. I don't have the escargot yet, but let me try out this cheese. That cheese is delicious. It has that little bit pungent flavor of the cheese, but what's predominant is that bar garlic and that butter. That is really good. Now let me go ahead and dig out this escargot. You can barely see it. It's all underneath. Let me get another piece so we can see it. It's all underneath. There it is. That's what the escargot looks like. So let me get this bite ready. I'm going to let it cool off a little bit and I'll get this bite ready. I have the escargot. I have the cheese. I have the garlic. I have the butter with the bread. Escargot is good. It's a very light in flavor. Um, it kind of really falls apart in your mouth. It's, it's a little bit chewy, but not as chewy as we've had before. But again, you're a big garlic, butter, cheese fan with bread. This is right up your alley. If you want to try it, definitely do. It doesn't give you a heavy escargot flavor. But yeah, this is a good one to try because escargot isn't as pungent.
um, I'll put you on the spot. There's Haliva style, Haliva Joe's, or Paris style. Paris. Oh. Oh, stop and think about it first. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Um, Paris. But this is worth trying. This is worth trying. This is a half order of the Paradise Salad. It's with mandarin oranges, caramelized walnuts, has a mandarin or an orange vinaigrette to it. I had to try it. This is all local ingredients. Let's go ahead. I got my orange. I got my caramelized walnuts. Very light salad. You can add a protein to this salad. This is screaming like a, a grilled chicken or something. But this is some good greens we're having with our meal. So yeah, delicious salad. I love the local lettuce. The mandarin orange orange is a, is an extremely sweet. It just gives it that kick. This is a good salad. Are the uh, walnuts really sweet and candied? Or not too much. The walnuts are lightly lightly candied. And they really taste that walnut flavor. It's good. I got the Chinese steamed fish along with a bed of bok choy and rice done with hot oil. If you know that Chinese fish done with hot oil, you know what I'm talking about. It is absolutely delicious just with the hot oil. So I'm going to go ahead. They didn't say what type of fish it was. They just said it was a Chinese steamed fish. You can tell this fish is nice and flaky. I'm going to head get a little bit of my fish with that rice. You can see there's mushrooms in here with the bok choy mixture. Let's go ahead and try this out right here. Mm. This brings me back to the flavors that you would get in Chinatown. That hot oil that sears the fish, that freshness of that fish with the bok choy. And of course, mm -hmm. perfectly cooked rice. This is a delicious dish. They give you some ginger on here. I don't remember any ginger for a Chinese dish. Put that aside. But green onions. This right here is what you expect if you're going to get a steamed fish, Chinese style. What's that stuff on top? Is that like spicy? Uh, garlic. Or? The garlic. Oh, yeah. This is like little crumbles of garlic. Okay, nice. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Roasted garlic. That's it right there. When the server brought out this knife, you know they mean business, right? I've seen many videos and pictures of the primary buffer here at Hollywood Joe's. It's monstrous. It is a little bit over an inch thick. They give you some au jus right here. Let's just pour some on. Because I like it swimming with the au jus. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a, that's a beauty right there. Let's cut into this. Of course they ask you what temperature you would like the prime rib. And I said medium. Like the way I like the uh, prime rib. Okay, here we go. Let's try it out. The au jus is so flavorful, it's bordering a little bit on the salty side. So go easy on the uh, au jus if you don't want that much uh, saltiness to it. Thankfully, I kind of stopped right there. But this meat is very tender. It's very juicy. This is a very good prime rib. You can tell it's slow roasted. And it could be prime for uh, what I'm thinking. Uh, I've had some lesser quality prime ribs and it is not, not too spectacular. But this one is actually very good. I love the, love the outer crust, the seasoning that you put on it. Yeah, very good. We're thinking the size of it, if you went to Lori's, is maybe like a diamond, right? Right. I think yeah. they call it a diamond gym or something, or something like, that. like that, which is like, like the biggest cut they offer. Yeah. Something like this. But yeah, this is great. And I'm, they give you some garlic mashed potatoes and some green beans on the side. Try it out. Yeah. This is going to be a challenge, but I'm up for it. Let me go try out this prime rib. Let me go ahead, get that cut in there. Look how thick this is. Oh, it's monstrous. Oh, yeah. 
You can get a workout, baby. I Just know. cutting this up. I mean, right. every, everything that you've heard about this primate is true. Yes. <laughs> it is. It's, it's it really big. Is big. Yeah. So far for you, it's tender. Yes. Let me get my piece ready here. It already has the au jus on there. It has a seasoning. Let's try this out. Mm. Now, if, if you find it a little salty, follow it up with some mash. That au jus already soaked into the prime rib. That is absolutely delicious. Let me go ahead and try out this, this mash. Nice, creamy, extremely smooth. And of course, I'm liking me some long beans. Mm. This is delicious. It's a good one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think, worth the money? I think it's worth the money. I think I need your help. You think so, baby? <laughs> so you have to finish your fish and help me with that. Oh, wow. That's a tall order. Now, I'm not familiar with the uh, the hot oil that they put on the fish. So kind of my first time trying it out. I know exactly what you mean. It's very Asian Chinese cooking type of flavor to this. It's, it's very good. It's delicious. I'm going to have to ask the server what type of fish this is. It is very light. It, it's not really fishy at all. It's almost like an ahi, isn't it? It could be. Yeah. I'm not sure. Or a mahi-mahi, which is right. really popular. Right. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. Mahi-mahi. Because yeah. it, it is delicious. And they give you plenty of like greens with it. Oh, yeah. This is right up your alley. It is. Mm -hmm. You switched chairs. We did. Off of their seasonal menu, we got the mango cobbler. And it says it was like a pickle a pickled mango ice cream or something. Yeah, interesting. I'm kind of curious. This ice cream is like extremely hard. I'm kind of curious how this ice cream is. This is, looks like a, just a beautiful dessert. Mm. I can taste the strawberry. I taste a little bit of the yogurt. I can't taste the pickle part of it. So maybe it's a good thing. You'll like that, baby. Let me go ahead and try this mango cobbler looks delicious tons of mango in there good breading it has a little bit of crumbles on top and a little bit of this whipped cream let's try this out that's extremely soft very mango forward which you want in a mango dessert there's some um, crust on the bottom i thought it was going to be kind of hard it is very soft it kind of just melts thick, in your right? mouth um, it's not extremely sweet at all. It's a good mango dessert. Oh yeah, it's a good one. I gotta try this out here. I got all three, the ice cream, the the mango, the whipped cream. I got it all right here in the spoon. Something hard and crumbly, what is that? I don't know. Oh, it said maybe the crispies on top. I didn't yeah. get any of the crispies. Yeah, I thought I chipped the tooth or something. <laughs> It is delicious. You're right. Fresh mangoes. That's what comes out the most. And it's not too sweet at all. In fact, these little crumbly things, they're the ones that are sweet. And the ice cream, I like it. I don't taste any pickly thing mm -hmm. at all. In it. Oh. It's almost like a like a strawberry strawberry cream ice cream. Strawberry cream ice cream. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah, this is great. Perfect for sharing. I think this is the perfect way to cap our dinner. It is. Sharing this special dessert. Oh, yeah. That is the wrap from Hala Eva Joe's. What a delicious meal, baby. It was. Good anniversary meal. Yeah, and you know, mm -hmm. this this part of the gardens is still open. Yeah. What time is it now? Uh, it is 5.41. Yeah, so there's a restaurant way up there. So we it, thought we'd take a walk down? Here. Yeah, it, it closes at sunset. So not quite dark yet, so it's still open. Yeah. So uh, how'd you like the meal? It was a very good meal. It mm -hmm. was a very good meal. Uh, worth the... 
drive. I think we, if we came from the city, it was like a 30, 45 minute drive. Which isn't bad from Waikiki. No. And this is the most picturesque one. We went to the one in Ahaleiva. So depending upon your mood, the one at Haleiwa, you didn't have to wait up in line. Um, mm -hmm. there, it was a lot of open seating. This one, we had to get here early to get the seat right. on this one because it got busier um, right when it opened. Um, that one has the ocean view. Right, the little beach ocean and mm -hmm. that, uh, that that really picturesque white bridge. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's there. Or here, the whole mountain and gardens. Yep, or the haiku garden view. Yes. So the food, the quality is the same, mm -hmm. but go ahead and pick out which one, which ambiance you want for your for your trip here. Oh, yeah. So pick the ocean view or pick the garden view. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, so in summary, this has been the happiest 10 years of my life. Oh, my baby, you're going to make me cry. Happy 10th anniversary. Happy 10th anniversary. I'm not going to cry. I promise. <laughs> thank you guys for joining us on our anniversary dinner. Mm -hmm. And uh, until our next adventure. Oh, no. Thank you for Mike oh. and his ohana. He, yes. saw his, he saw us here at line. Yeah. So thank you, Mike and your ohana. Um, hope you're enjoying their thing at the Aulani. So oh, I know. You're enjoying it. We little, know you're enjoying it. That's Aulani. a little bit of a drive yeah, from there. It is. Right here. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's worth it, I think. It yeah. is. So again, uh, thanks for joining us on our anniversary dinner. And mm -hmm. we'll catch you guys on the next one. Mm -hmm.